Hey, once again, it's Robert with Green Pool and Spa uh, with another update on the Rio Olympic Green Pool. So they finally found the reason. Thank the Lord. They finally found the reason why. It wasn't high pH or low pH or high alkalinity or low alkalinity. No, it was none of that. It was hydrogen peroxide. And if you remember my video from yesterday, I use peroxide right here uh, as as an example of how exact chemistry needs to be. Uh, I was, I guess, I was wrong, but I was mistaken. You know, kind of that seer of seers, prognosticator of prognosticators. But the problem is right here uh, was hydrogen peroxide. That's the story that they're sticking with, at least t for today. Um, there are so many problems with this. All right. Right here, I have uh, CNN. Now, this guy, his name is Gustav. I can't pronounce his last name. Gustavo Nuscamento, I guess. We'll just call him uh, Gustavo. Okay. This is, according to CNN, this is what he said. On the day of the opening ceremonies um, of the games, 80 liters, which is 20 gallons, of hydrogen peroxide was put into the water. This creates a reaction to the chlorine, which neutralizes the ability of the chlorine to kill organics. This is not a problem for the health of anyone. I read this and I was like, oh my Lord, this can't be. This just cannot be. Look, if when the chlorine level drops, okay, you open yourself up for organic matter, okay? It doesn't kill the organic matter when there's no chlorine in there. Chlorine is supposed to sanitize and oxidize the pool water, okay? So if, if your chlorine level is up here and it drops, then that opens up the possibility of waterborne illnesses and waterborne pathogens, all right? That is a problem if someone is planning on swimming in the pool, all right? You can't neutralize the chlorine and say, well, it doesn't pose a risk to the swimmers, the divers, or anyone else. That is just stupid, okay? And secondly, when if you introduce um, peroxide into a chlorine pool, there is an immediate chemical reaction. You, you can go on YouTube and look at that. Also, Bakwasil uses <clears throat> uh, uh, peroxide as the oxidizer for, for, for their... Um, uh, products. There's a link right there. It'll take you right to it if you want to go ahead and verify that. Now, those who want to switch their, their pools over from Bacosil to chlorine, when they put the chlorine in the pool, all of a sudden, all of these colors start to happen. You have the yellows and the orange and, you know, brown, murky brown, things like that because a chemical reaction happens because it's an immediate chemical reaction. Now, um, if, if what, uh, what's his name? Gustavo, Gestapo is saying is true, all right, they put it in on Friday, all right. Now, for a commercial pool, you're supposed to have, it, at least here in the United States, your, your turnover rate should be anywhere from 250 to 280 gallons per minute. Uh, for your residential pool, you're looking at about maybe 30 to 40 gallons per minute, okay. This is why they can have a turnover rate of around six to eight hours. So if you have a turnover rate for a commercial pool of six hours, right? That is um, uh, four times per day, right? Over a 24-hour period. So they put it in on Friday, and then uh, they didn't see it Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. They noticed it Tuesday. Let's say half a Tuesday, okay? So that is 4, 8, 12, 16, and we'll call it maybe 17, 18 times that water was turned over. Then it went green. That goes against the laws of chemistry and physics, or maybe the laws of chemistry and physics cease to exist within the Brazilian borders. I don't know. But what they're doing is just asinine. It's stupid. And now what they're going to do, it's 985,000 gallons. We'll just call it a million. They're going to drain a million gallons and then siphon it from another pool and call it good. All right, so that's my take on it. These guys are just totally incompetent. Why do we need to have this Mario right here? When we could have this Mario.